Hi, ho, guys and gals. Welcome back to the Dead of Tools Deals of the Week on the Road version. Yes, we are here on the road in, well, today we're in Chicago, at least for right now. We are leaving here shortly. As soon as I finish this, actually, we're going to be on the road over to Michigan. So <laughs> pray for us. We get out of town. Okay. Anyway, that's it. I got deals on deals on deals for you today. Yes, even from the road, we're bringing you the deals. First of all, I want to talk about the KBO Electric Ranger. We did a video on this, came out on Saturday. I'm so stoked about this bike. I wanted to talk to you about it again real quick. $1,600. This thing is incredible. It's got the big cargo rack on the back. It's even got uh, a lower set of uh, pedals, kind of a pedal, a deck kind of thing you can call it, down that goes down below here. You can see it on this version here. There's the extra rack and such. It goes on this. You can put a bunch of stuff. You got the rear cargo rack. You can put a front cargo rack. Go check out the video. You'll see what I mean. We got links to this and everything else down below. Thank you to Tiswall for sponsoring today's video. Tiswall Paint Sprayer here. Till, till Swall, I always say it wrong. We talked and worked with them a couple years back. Rotary Tools, they've grown their line of tools. This is a great looking uh, HL, HVLP, that's high volume, low pressure kind of sprayer. That's what you need for spraying around the house, spraying furniture, that kind of stuff, doing stains and whatnot. You can do a lot of stuff with this for 70 bucks with a 15% off coupon. Now, if we take a look at the reviews on it, they're they're mostly good. It's a little mix. We got, I won't, I won't call it quite a fish hook, but there's definitely a little bit of, of quality or some kind of issue there. Could just be people who've never dealt with a paint sprayer, though. I'll be honest. I've seen a lot of people who buy electric paint sprayers and then aren't happy with it because they don't understand, like, hey, maybe you got to thin it down a bit. Maybe you got to use this kind of paint. There's some adaption because when, when you're not using a... a uh, you know an airless sprayer that's what the pros use there's a big difference so just be aware of that i mean it is a 70 dollar well it's going to plus 15 percent off that kind of sprayer it is a definitely a diy weekend warrior level kind of sprayer all right now let's talk about another one we got the the po the names on these things the pow pow i guess it's called anyway we've been traveling with this thing to test it out we left Montana the other day, uh, and we had it hooked up in the back seat, running the refrigerator for the for all our drinks and snacks in the car, as well as all the kids' tablets and stuff were running off of it, and it ran straight. Like we left it plugged in overnight, we're running the fridge and everything. It ran for two days before dying on us, which is not bad for a 1200 watt hour LifePo 4 battery. That's it. This is a LifePo 4. This is a no bells and whistles, just power in a cube kind of box. And you know what I love about it is the handle on this. Because a lot of them, you know, one of the sins that I say is where they put the handle on the top and then you can't set other stuff on top of it. Well, it's got the handle on top, but it folds down. Oh my gosh, how hard is that to come with? It doesn't have the power brick. The power adapter is built inside, so it avoids that one. It does have the ridiculous light on the front. Uh, that does do a strobe effect if you press it too many times because, you know, you need your power station to rescue you out in the woods. Okay, so one out of three sins, not too bad. If you're looking for a small portable kind of power supply, something maybe to run CPAPs off of, to run a small fridge, there there are better versions on out there, but I don't know if you're going to get as much power for the money because we're looking at $500 on this, but there's a $100 off coupon. And then I think I got another $25. I think it's going to take down to $375 is the final price. $375 for over 1,000 watts of LiPo 4, even though it doesn't have a ton of bells and whistles and stuff. It, it has all the main stuff you're going to need. So for a day traveler, a, a, a CPAP machine, running the, uh, the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the, the fridge or whatever when you're traveling, the one real negative I'll say about this thing is when you're charging it, it is loud. It it is really loud. I I do want to call that out. So if sound is an issue when you have to do when you do have to charge it, uh, just be aware of that. All right, let's keep going. We've got X Tool. Uh, I've had so many people who were interested in this over Prime Days and they missed it and they're like, hey, can you get them to to extend the sale? We did. We got it's four fifty nine. There's a ninety five dollar off coupon. There's a coupon code in the links down below. So check that out. That takes this thing down to I think it's oh my gosh I think it's like three twenty five or something. It's ridiculously cheap. Now if you're like well that's kind of expensive for a a, a 
ODB2 reader. This isn't just an ODB2 reader. This is a bi-directional scan tool. That means you can send commands. If you haven't seen my reviews on bi-directional tools, that's where you really change the game. It goes from just being, hey, I'm just listening to the car now. I'm having a conversation with the car. I'm like, okay, it hurts when you do that. Well, what if you try this? And that's what the bi-directional gets you to do. You know, you like I have an issue with my the Ford we have with the mirrors. Well, I can send commands to the EC directly to the ECU and go, hey, move the mirrors. And if the mirrors move, when the buttons don't in the car, I know what's the buttons. I know it's not the motor. I can skip that step in diagnostics and go straight to what the problem is. That's where you get, that's where bi-directional really helps. And it helps, it, there's more than just the mirrors. It varies depending on what car you have, what bi-directional capability it has. But you can do stuff with the motor, with the transmission, all with the radio, you can do all sorts of stuff. Anyway, if you're looking to step up your diagnostics game for the DIYer, prosumer S kind of stuff, the X-Tool D7 is, I, I don't know if you're going to find anything cheaper than that. All right, let's keep going. We got the Works Maker. This is the WX992L. Works came out with this whole maker kind of thing. It's kind of what Ryobi is trying to do with their 4-volt four, four system. Well, Works did it first. You get two tools here, paint sprayer and a rotary tool. And it takes, here's what's cool. They have a little tethered cable that then plugs into a battery pack. The standard Works 20-volt pack. So if you have any of the Works batteries or this one because it's the kit, so it comes with the full thing, comes with the charger, comes with the battery, the tether cable, and the two tools for 60 bucks, 59.70. That is, it says it's a deal. That's a heck of a deal. Next up, if you want something that's a little more dedicated for your rotary tool, the Goaxui. I, I realize it's a weird name. They have stupid names on Amazon. There's a thing. There's a reason for it. We're not going to go into it. But it's on sale right now. 55, 50% off. Most of these are hovering in the like high 30s to 40s with like 10 to 15% off. This one's already got the percentage off. And Goaxui is one we've seen around before. It's got the extension cable. It's got the shield. It's got a bunch of the bits for $33.98. 20,000 reviews. 20,000 reviews of people who bought this. 20,000 and there's no fish hook in sight. If you guys don't know, the fish hook is when the reviews are great. They're all five stars and then they come down and then they come back up in two and one stars. And the one star comes up and hooks you and that's where you get bit. So we keep an eye out for this. This is no fish hook. That means that with 20,000 no fish hook, it's got to be a great tool. It just There's just no two ways about it. Uh, and if you want some real, a real selection of bits, check this out. 420 piece from Depth Stitch. Again, don't ask me about the names. You're looking at $30, but there's a 10% off coupon on this. That is a great case with all the rotary bits and such you're going to possibly need. Great way to kind of fill up the drawer and get ready to get, you know, get doing the rotary kind of stuff. All right, let's talk about rotary. Let's talk about some tools here. Big tools. We got the Bulldog Extreme Max Rotary Hammer from Bosch. This is a go-to must-have tool in your arsenal. If, again, I can't stress it enough. Having good, solid, corded tools. You don't care about the battery. I'm not worried about whether it's charged or not. I can plug it in. I got a $20 extension cord, and it just does the job, and it works, and it will work all day. This is a professional-level tool. It will work all day long. It won't even ask for a smoke break. $210 is a 60% off. That is a solid discount on this tool. Again, this is one of the ones I say, like every shop should have a good, solid rotary tool like this. And the Bulldog, uh, they pretty much started it. They're, they're the ones who started it. They're still king of the hill, if you ask me. Then we've got the Bosch uh, four, and a, four and a half inch Ergo Grip Angle Grinder. Again, now they may not have invented the angle grinder, but they definitely make a solid go-to, last you a lifetime kind of angle grinder here. Paddle switch on it, gray, black, and blue. $55, lowest price in 30 days. Again, you should have, I know we all get super excited about our cordless tools. We should, everyone should have a good, just solid platform of corded tools in the shop, ready to go at any time. All right. Talking about cordless though, Craftsman, this is a kit here. We got the V20 cordless multi-tool kit, oscillating tool uh, with blade, sandpaper, battery charger included. It's not or it's not brushless. It is cordless. It's not brushless, which means uh, it's a solid tool. Uh, it's basically a downgraded version of the DeWalt, which sells for like 100 to 120. Uh, it, it's a great tool. I'm not a big fan of the Craftsman stuff, but even this one, I prefer a brushless for an, a multi-tool, but if you're looking for a bargain, $79 with the bag and the charger and the, everything else, it's not a bad deal. Now, if you, again, corded, how about this? We got the Jorgensen 
uh, we got the four amp oscillating multi tool, seven variable speeds, sixteen piece electric multi tool blades. It's toolless uh, switch. You just flip the little handle there, pop a new blade, lock it in, in place. Nice, fast, simple, and easy for sixty one dollars. There, that is an excellent choice. Now you need some blades. We got you with the Octuco. <laughs> These names. Um, wood metal cutting kit. We got bimetal blades. Again, eighty seven pieces. You got bl you got straight blades. You got angle blades you got uh, metal cutting blades uh, here's a weird thing if you want to cut a straight line with a multi-tool you want the curved blade if you want to cut curves use a straight blade it's weird but that's the best way to do it plus you get the sandy detail sanding kind of pads in there you get those tight corners and such this is a great set here for thirty dollars oh there's a four dollar off coupon on top of it knocks that down to 36 bucks all right we got this skill again Got to have these kind of the standard tools. This is just your basic hammer drill. Just your old school DIY, do the work, comes in a case with a, with a good selection of bits, 90 bucks, but there's a $20 off coupon on this. That takes this thing down to $70 for a just workhorse of a hammer drill. This is going to be your, your weekend warrior to prosumer grade kind of hammer drill. Again, if you've just got a house, if you're doing stuff around the house and you want to get your toolkit started, I get the cordless stuff is sexy and, and everyone wants it. Get the corded stuff first. It's going to last you longer. It's going to work longer. It's going to do a better job. All right. Eh, well, it'll do a better job. I may be a little biased on that one. All right. Yes, Welder. Okay. I know I've been going back and forth. We started off, Yes, Welder was a big one around the channel. We started talking about a bunch of ones. We started talking about Art Captain, and a bunch of stuff. But the yes welder, they've upgraded their game. They've, they've got revamped a bunch of their tools. But look at this. We got the 55 amp non-touch uh, plasma cutter. Okay, not a welder, plasma cutter, half inch clean cut. It runs on 110 or 220. It's an inverter machine, 240 bucks. Not a terrible price on that. Except there's fifty dollars off. Fifty dollars off. That's a hundred and ninety dollars for a plasma cutter, dual voltage. Oh my gosh. If you've been thinking about getting a plasma cutter, you want to play around with plasma, you want to figure out what you can do with it. At 100, I don't, I, I don't have to tell you, it's not going to get any cheaper, folks. This is, I, I think there's no way this can't be deal of the day. Let me know what you think, but at the end, down in the comments, I want you to hear what your favorite deal was because I'm saying I think this is deal of the day. $190 for a plasma cutter from a name brand company like this? Oh my gosh. Through Amazon, yeah, which means I'm uh, saying that because if you have any issues, you can always go back to Amazon because, you know, Amazon will keep you safe. Klein Tool Scout Pro 3. These things are, if you're running wire, if you're running wire, this does data, voice, and video cable tests. This thing is fantastic. If you've chased a bunch of cable, you know exactly the look on my face and what that means. Oh, my gosh. Having a good uh, tool like this so you can figure out what's going on is uh, it's worth way more than sixty six dollars. I'll tell you that. Anyway, number one seller in in uh, cable testers, and it's half off at sixty six dollars. Definitely want to grab that one. All right, Klein. Talk about people. They've been feeling the pressure uh, with the the Lasgu and whatnot coming up with the really high end laser uh, laser levels and stuff. Well, here's Klein dropping the price on theirs twenty three percent off, down from one hundred fifty to one hundred sixteen dollars, lowest price in thirty days. Klein, of course, definitely top grade level tools there. If you've been looking for a, a laser level, this may be the way to go. All right. Also, you know, I'm always keeping an eye out for the Kinepix and a bunch of other stuff. Right now, we got the Kinepix Cobra water pump pliers, 10 inch, for thirty-three dollars and fifty-one cents. All right, and then the Dewalt. Check these out. Dewalt masonry bits. This is not something you often think about. Like, hey, I want to have around, but they're so good to have in the shop because every once in a while something crops up where you're like, okay, I got to drill through some brick or some masonry, something like that, and I don't have any bits. I got to run down and get some bits. Lowest price in thirty days, eleven dollars. For a seven-piece set of masonry bits, just to keep, you know, as they call them, the get out of jail free kind of stuff. It's like I don't use them every day, but now I'm in a pinch, so either, I'm either gonna have to run run to the store. Oh wait, I grabbed those the other month on deals of the week, so here we go. We're all set, ready to go. All right, Dewalt thickness planer. This is the one. Now I've you know I've talked a lot about the wind planers. I talked about the Harbor Freight planers, but the big daddy of planers. When it comes to prosumer kind of stuff, even Value Pro, is the DeWalt, the DW735X. This is it. You're going up to industrial planers after this. This is king of the hill. 
Uh, and $600 is a fantastic price. Price on this has been creeping up, creeping up, creeping up, not wanting to come back down. You're getting three blades with the side tables. And yeah, the side tables on this thing are extra. That's where you can tell when you get to the top level kind of tools. You, it's really funny because the cheap stuff comes really bare. There's nothing with it. You just get the tool. Then you get the mid-range kind of stuff, and they throw everything in the kitchen sink in there. And then you get back up to the high-end stuff, and again, it's all you buy the base unit, then you buy all the add-ons. It's weird the way the business works, but that's the way it is. But here you're getting the three blades and the infield outfeed table there. $600, that's 25% off a list on this. All right, let's jump over to Walmart. If you're in the heart system, you got to grab the heart radio. It's on sale right now for $32.88. Nice little radio. It's not going to blow you away or anything, but at least get you some tunes with your batteries there. Let's jump over to Menards. We got the top. Um, yeah, I can talk about Tabo HPT. I can tell you. One of the great greatest nail gun systems out there. I know Ridge has got some good ones, but Metabo HPG, that's always been my choice for nail guns. Uh, it, I think that's what we used for years and years and years, uh, back when it was called Hitachi, of course. And uh, you're looking at $89.97, sale price good through the 26th, so you better jump on it now, $49.98, plus the 11% mail-in rebate. Of course, if you shop at Menards, you know about the 11% rebate. Check that out, 18 gauge nailer there, 18 gauge pneumatic nailer. All right, over at Ace Hardware, of course we love to shop Ace when we can, we like to support local when we can. The DeWalt 15 amps corded dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. This of course is the DWS 779, no drop shaft, just the bare bones. This thing has been sitting at four to $500 relentlessly for the last year. I, I thought DeWalt had lost their mind. Un I just I'm dumbfounded by the price three hundred and forty nine dollars. Got to be Ace Rewards. Remember, it's so hard to sign up for Ace Rewards. You actually have to like give them an email, and that's about it. Sign up for Ace Rewards. Get your points because you get a bunch of points with this three hundred forty nine dollars. If you've been looking for the Dewalt seven seven nine, this is the buy it now price. This, don't wait. Don't think about it. Buy it now. Buy it local. Support your local hardware stores. All right, next up, we've got Direct Tool, and we got Rigid. Look at this, Rigid Pneumatic Nailers, 15%. Uh, that's the angle of the nailer. The one and three-quarter roofing nailer. we got the straight finish nailer, the Brad nailer, the finish nailer, the Brad nailer. No Steve nailers, just nailing Brad there. Anyway, I know. Keep it, keep it calm in the comments. $39 is the cheapest up to what was the most expensive, $115? 115 on that one. A bunch of them at Direct Tools. If you guys don't know, Direct Tools is the authorized, not authorized, it is the factory outlet for TTI. That's Milwaukee, Rigid, Ryobi, Hart, and a bunch of like Hoover vacuums and a bunch of Dirt Devil and stuff like that. All right, over at Home Depot, what a deal here we got. 20 volt cordless impact with power stack battery. This is it right here, folks. The 20 volt impact driver here. With the uh, with the power stack batteries, you can know I'm a huge fan of those power stack batteries. Those things are insane. Coming in 62% off at $149. That is a great deal right there. All right, let me get the mouse over here. There we go. All right, let's take a look at this here. Yeah, and yes, that is a brushless brushless impact driver. All right, next up, next up, we got access denied. There we go. Come on, Lowe's, you could do it. I'm still on Zoom here. There we go. I'll fix it. There we go. All right. Lowe's doesn't like it when you try to load too many pages too fast. They get all touchy about that thing. Anyway, Cobalt 20-piece 12-point standard SAE and metric ratchet set. I've had this set for years. If you've been around the channel, you've probably seen me use it. Great DIY set. Just an average weekend warrior kind of set. Ratcheting set. It, it does have some skips in it. All right. It, you got 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 in metric. You can see there we got standard. $50 uh, is is the price. Now you're, it's half off. I've never seen it sell for 100 bucks, But I've seen it like 65 to $70. Anyway, it's a great little set. I wish the, the pieces were a little bit longer. Uh, it's not the best set out there, but at 50 bucks right now, it's not a bad set. All right. Got another contender for deals of the week. This one, I cannot believe this. We're over at CPO. Uh, CPO, is they've had some issues uh, with customer service and stuff, uh, When it, usually when it comes to buying refurbished things. But this is in the miter saws. This is the Delta 26 Cruiser. All right, this is the zero rear clearance. 
It's got the robotic arm kind of style there, so it slides out. This is normally a five to six hundred dollar saw. I have the rigid version, which is just a, the same saw painted orange. There's really no difference in it. Uh, it this is a great saw, and I I cannot for the life of me figure out how it's going for three seventy six, three seventy. Well, call it three seventy seven. Call it what it is, three seventy six ninety nine. So three seventy seven. Uh, that, that I'm just dumbfounded. It, it, CPL, I'm not a huge fan of the company. They, they, they've been good. They were good. Then they went bad. Then they got a little better. And then they've had some issues. Customer, I would just make sure you use a credit card where you know you can get your money back if you have an issue with them. Three seventy six. If you've been looking for a zero rear clearance, and when I say zero rear clearance, for those of you who don't understand, this is a sliding miter saw that doesn't take up any room behind it. All right, the way the robotic arms articulate when it slides back. It's flush, and it, there's no, no doesn't have those tubes that go back behind it. So you can put it right up against the wall, which makes it great for use in a shop and stuff like that. All right, let's go into some bonus rounds. First off, we're going to go over Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight's got a new generator. Look at this, a five thousand. Now, typically, they, for this is an inverter generator, so it's it's fully enclosed, super quiet. So inverter makes it quiet, enclosed makes it quiet, inverter enclosed makes it super quiet. All right. This is what you want. This is the super quiet one. No one's going to hear about it. No, your neighbors aren't going to know you're running a generator, that kind of thing. And you're going to get the smooth outlet kind of power. But this is like the RV dream generator. 5,000 watts, super quiet, CO secure, and it's got three ways of starting. You can pull start, push button electric start, or it's got the key fob. You can be sitting inside. You, got, you know what? We need some extra juice to run the AC. Press the button. Brrr, and it's running that is so cool oh and it's got the wheel kit built in with look at this with what what's one of the things the sins i've said harbor freight's got a got a problem other ones are picking up they did it they listened to me it's got the suitcase handle slides right out pick it up and just roll with this sucker it's and you know the 3500 is a nice one but it's got that power cube kind of shape which makes it hard to store this is taller, vertical, and thinner, which means you can put it up against the wall. You can slide it. Makes it way more transportable. This is it. This is the this everything about this just checks all the boxes plus some bonus boxes. Fantastic. All right, we got some other generator deals for you. We're over at Walmart this time. We got the Duramax. This is the 5500 watt electric start. This is just your plain generator. Okay. There's no frills, no inverter, not enclosed. It's going to be loud. It's going to be noisy, but it's got probably some of the best cheap power that you can get. And it's dual fuel. So it'll run on gas. It'll run on propane coming in at $500. By the way, if I'm not mistaken, I thought this thing was dual fuel. Maybe I'm, maybe I am wrong, but I could have sworn that they'd made this thing dual fuel. Uh, let me see your super quiet inverter generator remote start CO cure. Eh, it doesn't say dual fuel on it. All right, maybe I was just getting getting ahead of the game there. There is talk of dual fuel generators coming from Harbor Freight before the end of the year. Anyway, we're back to the Duramax here. Five hundred dollars on sale right now over at the old Walmart. Also, we've got check this out the Pulsar twelve and twelve hundred. Do you remember the little tiny? Uh, tailgater generators at Harbor Freight that went away. Everyone loved. They're like a hundred bucks. They went away. Well, this here it is. But this one's a little bit more powerful. You're talking about 1200 peak, 900 running, two cycle gas power generator. Little rubber feet on it. Just basic kind of. You just need a basic little bit of power to go. Going for a little, you know, getaway, a little weekend kind of stuff. Maybe uh, uh, doing a big picnic kind of stuff for the fa extended family there. This or doing some tailgating. This is the way to go, $150 on sale right now. Also, we've got the Westinghouse. Check to that lightweight, parallel ready. Uh, it's an inver gas-powered inverter generator, super quiet, 1,500 peak watts, all right? So it's not a ton more than this one. This one's 1,200 peak. This one's 1,500 peak. It does have the CO secure, all right? That's kind of good on it, all right? You got a nice setup there, but it's going to be super quiet, all right? It's going to be whisper quiet. Uh, three hundred and seventy nine dollars on that there you go anyway that's our deals of the week thank you so much for joining us today from chicago the windy city i gotta tell you it's been a long time since i spent a lot of time in chicago 
And in that time, I'd spend a bunch of time in New York and in L.A. Uh, and, uh, and where else? Uh, oh, in uh, the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area. And I thought I'd gotten used to the big city. Of course, I'm out of the big city now. I thought I'd never go back. Nice place to visit and stuff. Have some fun. Everyone we've run in here, run into here, super nice. Midwest nice. I forgot what it was like. My apologies to any nasty things I've said about Chicago because everyone we've met here has just been the best people ever. Love the Midwest. Uh, it's nice to be back. And even in a big city, you know, politics aside with the city, the people of Chicago have been just fantastic. Uh, we're we're sad that we got to take off here so quickly. Anyway, we're off to as I said, we're off to the south shores of Michigan, just bare just barely in the state, uh, and only for like an afternoon. And then we're down into Indiana, and then down we're going to Nashville. We're gonna try and set if we can set up a meetup uh, early next week in Nashville. If you're interested, put comments down below uh, about a place you think would be good for a, a like an afternoon meetup in a, in Nashville. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Remember, we got links and everything down below as well as the coupon codes. Help support the channel by using those links. If you don't want to support the channel? That's great. Anyway, chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on. <laughs> oh, now we got to get in.